tis the season. This is the Global Stock Investor Show. Welcome, Global Investors. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to be continuing in the raw material sector. This is cement, part two. Uh, this is pretty much the last part in cement. Um, what's going to be my next? What's up to cement? Did lumber, steel, cement. Next sector is going to be energy. So we're going into the energy sector. This should be interesting. And there's 12 parts to energy. So that'll happen tomorrow. So we'll do uh, um, energy sector part one. So this is it with the raw material. Um, it was fun. Wow. Got through it all. Huh. Wow. <laughs> Seems like yesterday. Uh, today is Sunday. The market's closed, as you can see. As you can see, the, the bear market that we're currently in. I mean, um, where am I at? So I'm pretty much, I'm down, I'm down $72. Um, but I'm, I'm up uh, company-wise. Um, now I'm up, I have a total of 52 so now I'm sitting at 52. So my next uh, goal, oh, for my, what I did for my celebration, uh, I pretty much I treated myself to the, um, uh, a Korean barbecue place here in uh, Concord, California. So pretty much I did that on the fly. I didn't do no drinking. I think for the next one, I, you know, because it's 100, 100 companies, you know, instead of, you know, 50. So it would be a different feeling. But, um, you know, I ate there. I didn't, I didn't, uh, go all in like I usually do, like get full, like keep ordering. I just ordered my round and I was good, you know. So pretty much that was, I had fun with that. So my next one, um, and the year's not even over with and I'm still collecting. So um, it's been a fun, it's been a fun ride. Um, so pretty much I started on the 4th. So pretty much the 4th would be, you know, my pretty much every January, you know, I start, you know, tacking on my experience, you know, as a stock investor. And then now, um, I'm starting to, I'm starting my own YouTube channel. So I go to the Academy of Art University. So everything there, all the skills and uh, strategies that I learned from that school, I'm going to apply it to my uh, YouTube channel and I can find an internship or something like that. I'll definitely do it for more experience, um, you know, to keep better in myself. But this is, this is pretty much my my journey, my ride, um, and it's been fun. You know, I mean, I'm at um, yeah, forty four about forty four thousand, forty four thousand. You know, pretty much my leverage now for my company. I mean, I started with oh man, wow, what this, and that was just my a whole year of pretty much, you know, watching the market. It's been fun. You know, even though we're in red, I'm starting to, that I start, I purchased uh, Google. It's my son's company. I pre uh, Netflix and then NVIDIA. So those three I got for him. So, but all these 52 are, you see all the red, these 52 are pretty much for the company. But, you know, my son is investing, I'm investing. So pretty much, cause you know, when I get it, you know, pretty much I'm going to pass the torch to him. So, you know, I don't know why men think we're going to live forever, but pass the torch, you know, that's how, that's how I see it. Pass the torch. All right, let's get into it. Raw material sector, cement part two. Uh, the first company is Sterling Struction, Construction. Okay. There it is. Uh, let's go to the five year. Okay, as you can see, nice upward trend. Market price about eleven thirty. Eleven dollars. Okay, about Sterling Con Construction Company Inc. Common st Common Stock, also called Sterling Construction, is a heavy civil construction company which specializes in the building 
reconstruction, and repair of transportation and water infrastructure projects. Its transportation infrastructure projects include highways, roads, bridges, airfields, ports, and light rail. The company's water infrastructure projects include water, wastewater, and storm drainage systems. Sterling also provides general contracting services, including es excavating, concrete, and asphalt paving, installation of large diameter water and wastewater distribution systems, construction of bridges and similar large structures, construction of light and commuter rail infrastructure, concrete and asphalt, batch plant operations, concrete crushing and aggregates operation. It serves county and municipal public works departments, regional transit and water authorities, port authorities, school districts, and municipal utility districts. The firm operates through two segments, heavy civil construction and residential construction. Sterling Construction was founded in 1999 and is headquartered in Houston, Texas. Uh, the current CEO is Joseph A. Cutillo. Employees, about 17, 1700. Headquarters, uh, Woodland, Texas, founded in 1991. Market cap, 305.87 million. Dividend yield, nope. Okay, so Sterling Construction, that's the first cement company. The second. Cement company is James Hardy Industries. Okay, let's look at the five year. Nice, beautiful. Uh, market price eleven dollars. About James Hardy Industries PLC engages in the manufacture of fiber cement siding and backer board. It operates through the following segments, North America Fiber Cement, International Fiber Cement, other businesses and research and development. The North America Fiber Cement segment manufactures fiber cement interior linings, exterior siding products, and related, related accessories in the United States. These products are sold in the United States and Canada. The International Fiber Cement segment comprises of all fiber cement products manufactured in Australia, New Zealand, and the Philippines and sold in Australia, New Zealand, Asia, the Middle East, and various Pacific Islands. The other businesses segment focuses in the in the certain non-fiber cement manufacturing and sales activities in North America, including fiberglass windows. The research and development segment represents the costs incurred by the research and development centers. The company was founded in 1888, been around, and is headquartered in Dublin, Ireland. Global Stock Investing. Uh, current CEO is Louis Grease. Employees, about 3,900. Headquarters, Dublin, Ireland, founded in 1888. Market cap, $4.92 billion. Dividend yield, 2.07. Nice. 92% buy, so pretty much... That's the second cement company. Uh, the, the third cement company is Loma Negra. Oh, there she is. Okay, let's look at the five year. Fairly new company. Uh, it's, it's in a bear, bear market right now, currently. Uh, market price about $10. About. Loma Negra Compañía Industrial Argentina Sociedad Anonima American Dispo Depository Shares ADS each RE also called Loma Negra Negra is a cement manufacturing company. It operates through the following business segments: cement, masonry cement and lime, concrete, railroad aggregates and others the cement masonry cement and line segment comprises of the procurement of raw materials from quarries the concrete segment consists of the production and sale of concrete the railroad segment provides railroad transportation services the aggregate segment offers granitic granitic aggregates the others Segment covers the operating income of the industrial waste treatment and recycling business for use as fuel or raw material and others. 
The company was founded by Alfred Ford Fordabat on May 10th, 1926, and is headquartered in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Global Stock Investing. Uh, current CEO is Sergio Damien Fafman. Employees not listed. Headquarters Buenos Aires, Argentina. Founded in 1926. Market cap one one hundred and twenty one point eleven million. Dividend yield note. Uh, seventy percent buy, ten percent hold. Those two together more than seventy five percent. Seventy five percent. So that's the third cement company. Okay, the fourth cement company is. Cementos. A lot of these, a lot of these cement companies are um, coming international. Cementos Paz Paca. Let me look at it again. Cementos Paca Pacas Mayo. Look at the five-year, fairly new. Um. And a bear. Uh, market price about ten dollars. About Cementos Pacasmayo S A A A engages in the production and marketing of cement, quick lime aggregates, ready mix concrete, precast concrete products, and construction materials. It operates through the following segments: cement, concrete, and blocks, construction supplies, quick lime, and other. The company was founded in 1949 and is headquartered in Lima, Peru. The current CEO is um, Humberto R Ronaldo Nadal del Carpio. Headquarters is in Lima, Peru. Founded in 1949. Market cap, 813.83 million. Dividend yield, 4.02. That's, that's nice. Wow. Okay. Global stock investing right there. Um... 30%, 36% buy, 64% hold, those two together, 100%. So that's the fourth cement company under the raw material sector. And last but not least, and this will close out the raw material sector, and this is cement part two, is CMEX. Uh, CMEX is uh, $5. I own one share of CMEX. Um, this was 2016, so pretty much is still in the bear market. Um, market price five dollars, as you can see right here. So I per I got a um, uh, off I bought it off my dividends. Okay, about C M C S A B D S V engages in the production, distribution, marketing, and sale of cement. Ready mix concrete and aggregates. It operates through the following geographical segments Mexico, United States, Europe, South, Central America, and the Caribbean, Asia, Middle East, and Africa, and others. The Europe segment covers United Kingdom, Germany, France, Spain, and Czech Czech Republic, Poland, and Latvia, as well as trading activities in Scandinavia and Finland. The United States segment consists of the rec recognition of deferred income tax assets in C CMAX's operation. The South Central America and the Caribbean include Colombia and the rest of South Central America and the, and the Caribbean such as Costa Rica, Panama, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, Jamaica, and other countries in the Caribbean, Guatemala, and small ready ready mix concrete operations in Argentina. The Asia, Middle East, and Africa segment, segment includes Egypt, Philippines, United Arab Emirates, Israel, and Malaysia. The other segment refers to the cement trade, maritime operations, information technology solutions, business, and other corporate entities as well as other minor subsidiaries with different lines of business. The company was founded by Lorenzo Zam. Brano Guitaris in 1906. Oh, wow. And is headquartered in San Pedro Garza, Garcia, Mexico. So that's a uh, global stock investing straight from Mexico. 
Um, current the current CEO is Fernando Angel Gonzalez. Ola Olivera, employees 40,000 40, headquarters in San Pedro Garza Garcia, Mexico, founded in 1906, been around. Market cap uh, 7.61 billion, dividend yield uh, none, uh, 74% buy, 26% hold, those two together 100%. So that's the fifth company uh, in the uh, fifth cement company uh, the total investment for five of those for all five of these companies comes out to forty eight dollars and sixteen cents um, in closing subscribe to the channel comment any questions or recommendations you have like if the content was inspiring for you and share this information with other global stock investors while you're slaying dragons I'll be taming them <laughs>